George uh, Isaacs, my wife here, Florence Isaacs. Uh, I, together with a fellow named Ken Fletcher, introduced the idea of light rail transit on Hiawatha uh, Avenue to the Hiawatha Avenue Citizen Design Study Group in April 28th of 1975. This was done at the Holy Trinity Lutheran Church at 31st and Minnehaha. Uh, since that time, uh, Mr. Fletcher and I worked with the group to give them technical information. They liked the idea of a four-lane boulevard and provisions for transit, preferably light rail transit. And over the years, uh, we uh, have promoted that. Ken Fletcher and I built a layout to show people physically what light rail transit would look like at Hiawatha Corner. Uh, in addition, we put together a slideshow of which I have given approximately 205 times since 1975. And this, in a small way, has helped keep the idea of light rail transit alive. Uh, I think today uh, our work has been vindicated. I don't know, for a while I didn't think I was going to live long enough to uh, see it. Uh, I'm 82 now, my wife's 83, and when you consider 30 years ago, what was the probability of seeing it? We know it is going to be successful. We know it is not the answer. It is part of a solution. And one line by itself is not going to do the whole job. There's other lines, preferably Minneapolis-St. Paul, a line to the southwest or to the west. There are railroad corridors that can be used. But what we need is some imagination on the part of our legislators and our, our city officials to say, look, we have to start moving people rather than vehicles. And I think the Hiawatha Avenue is the first step. I think another thing is going to be important. The uh, North Star Commuter Corridor is really a wonderful way of relieving some of the traffic on Highway 10. If you go up along Highway 10, you can't widen it. The businesses are right up against the uh, thing. However, there's a very, very fine high-speed railroad right alongside with the addition of some trackage and sidings or what have you, you'd have a very, very viable commuter system. And uh, I think that's the way we have to go. We cannot do it by roads alone. You cannot do it by rail alone. It's roads, rail, and by all means, the standard buses. And as far as the buses are concerned in the Twin Cities, we have one of the finer maintained fleets in the nation. We have good service, provided we fund it. And we have consistently underfunded our public transit system in the Twin Cities, and we are suffering for that. Anything else you want to know about? <laughs>